Yale News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, folks in Lancaster waking up to some sunshine. We take the clock back to about 650 this morning. Temperatures were in the mid 50s from that Lancaster sky cam. But that sunshine, it really didn't last long. We saw the clouds quickly move in, uh, move in, and by about the 10:30 time period into 11 o'clock, that's when that first round of rain moved in, and that's the one that caused some isolated severe wind gusts and also the isolated damage in a few spots across, especially Lancaster County, eastern end of Lancaster County. Uh, looks like getting hit the hardest, and also into parts of York County. But there was another round of rain. Several showers moved through about 1:30, and every time we had those showers, it knocked down the temperatures about seven or eight degrees. And we really haven't been able to recover that much since then, but we do have full sunshine now as we take that live look from our Lancaster Skycam. 62 degrees, dew points are much drier, down into the low 40s, and those northwest breeze at 21 miles per hour sustained, gusts above 30 miles per hour currently in the Red Rose City. So it has been uh, quite a gusty morning so far with the line of storms that went through, and then behind the line of storms, we had more winds out of the northwest. Temperature wise, right now, 61 degrees in Lebanon at this hour. As you head up into Landisburg, same story, 61 there, Mifflin Town at 60 degrees. Farther down to the south, E Town, 63, Lancaster again, 62, Ephrata, and uh, also in Reading at 63. But like I said it's really the winds this afternoon that have been the main story anywhere between about 10 miles per hour sustained to as high as 25 miles per hour currently and uh, we have seen some gusts above 40 miles per hour in a few spots and that was not from that line of storms that moved through and there it went earlier this morning there were a few scattered lingering showers but those have all really just started to dry up at this point and we're starting to get back into that sunshine and we'll clear things out here the rest of this evening. So clearing skies, cool and breezy in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. Those temps uh, falling from the mid-60s generally down into the mid-50s. Tonight, a lot of us will bottom out into the 40s. Some spots, those isolated spots that get a little colder than everybody else, probably closer to the 44 degree mark tonight with mostly clear skies and the diminishing winds. So about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. Those will increase tomorrow once we get the daytime mixing, bringing down some of the stronger winds from aloft. So it'll be a sunny day, and I actually do think it'll be a pleasant day. We will just have to deal with that breeze, especially in the afternoon, winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so no big deal for us. Looking at the almanac from today, 67, that was the official high out of Harrisburg International Airport. The average this time of the year, 79 degrees, so we were 13 degrees shy of that. The uh, morning low temperature of 57 uh, was a few degrees shy of average, and we did pick up only two one hundredths of an inch of rain at HIA. Some spots were about a tenth of an inch of rain, so the rain we saw was not that much. It was such a fast moving system. You can see it's already well off the coast and really across the eastern half of the United States. It's the only thing to talk about. High pressure firmly in control across the southeast, and we have this system now moving off to our northeast. So really, we're just getting into this northwesterly breeze pattern. It's going to stay that way for the next couple of days, keeping us cooler than average, and that starts tonight with those lows down into the 40s. But as you can see, we are clear on predictor. We stay sunny all the way into tomorrow, and uh, that really lasts into our Friday morning as well. Now, we are watching this warm front, and it will start to work in from the west as we go into it looks like later parts of Friday, more likely into Saturday, but I think our Friday is actually a mostly sunny, comfortable day and a nice uh, end to the work week overall. But as we go into the weekend, we'll have to watch that warm front for the chance of some showers and storms. The bay, as you head into tomorrow, looking pretty good. Mid 70s there, just a light breeze out of the northwest. And if you're heading down to the shore tomorrow, a nice one, mid 70s there. Notice the water temperatures, they are warming up, so that sea breeze, not quite as bad as it was just a few weeks ago. So again, we have to watch for those storms on Saturday. Looks like the timing is late in the day. Some showers may linger into our Sunday. Dry things out into Monday and Tuesday before more showers and storms arrive going into Wednesday. So now we're getting into a stretch of weather. Nice couple of days here, Good. besides the breeze we have to deal with tomorrow. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.